Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who have been part of this family, welcome back. Um, I am so excited to share a couple of new finds. Um, and it's in one particular style, but it's two different patterns. And um, basically, this is a quick grab and go bag for me. And I particularly love grab and go bags. So the style I want to talk about is the Mini Glenna. And I found the Mini Glenna in both Holland Garden and in Cloud Vines. So I am particularly excited that this little baby, um, I consider this a unicorn item because this is so hard to find. Um, the Mini Glenna, particularly in Cloud Vines. And so she came in the mail today and I threw her in the wash and... Um, she is ready to go. She is all dry and ready to go. And she is just beautiful. I love the Cloud Vines pattern. Um, it's definitely up there with probably my top favorite patterns. Um, I think she still has a little bit of drying to do, but I think by tomorrow she'll be good to go. So I kind of wanted to talk about, I wanted to do a what's in my bag to show you what I've, how I've got this packed up because this is a quick grab and go bag for me. Um, I had a feeling I was going to like this because I love the small Jenny so much. And then here's the side. The small Jenny I have here, but I had a, I had a feeling I was going to like this bag simply because I really like the shape and design. I had a feeling I was going to like this simply because I love the shape and design of the small Jenny. Structurally, they're very different. You know, it's very obvious that they look different, but their compartments, like how they're designed is very similar in that it's one, um, the Mini Glenna is basically one compartment with two side pockets that go all the way down, two strap handles that fall, and they fall a little bit past the bag. And then it comes with a long crossbody strap. It comes with a long crossbody strap and then it also has these two cinches on the side, these two straps that cinch. Um, so you can basically customize the shape of your mini Glenna. You can tighten it up, you can loosen it up, whatever you want to do. Oh, look at this Holland Garden. That is just beautiful. You got those pops of pastel colors in there. You've got this like vine work in there, these florals. So I will show you what's in my bag. I will also list the dimensions up here so you can see. But this is a retired style. So you, you don't typically find mini Glenas. Um, you won't see them on the Vera Bradley website anymore because they are retired. You can find some on Amazon. You, I have seen a couple on Poshmark. Um, I think I saw maybe one or two on Mercari, but you, it's the most I've seen is like the black microfiber or the, um, raspberry medallions. I've seen those two. Um, Indiana Rose is available on Amazon. Uh, I have also seen Regal Rosette on Amazon and I think Regal Rosette is a really pretty color. Um, I was considering that one, but once I got my cloud vine, I think I'm good on my collection of mini Glennas. I just want I have the two and I'm pretty satisfied. Um, and I don't have that many grab and go bags. So I will share them all with you so you can get an idea of what my go-to bags actually are. I pulled out all of them, all of my smaller sized bags. So this video is basically going to be my review on the mini Glenna, but also my collection of small bags. Some of them do not include, some of them are not Vera Bradley. Um, I think I have three of them that aren't Vera Bradley. But anyway, so with the Mini Glenna, this is such a cute style. Um, the only thing 
that I would say is I wish the handles didn't go past the bag. Um, I just wish the handles didn't go past the bag. Another thing I've noticed is the zipper is a little bit finicky. Um, so if you can see here, let me take off this. If you can see here, the bag will open okay. But once you kind of like open up the bag to get into it, the zipper will move up here. And then it becomes very difficult to close it with one hand. So you actually have to use like two hands in order to close the zipper. You see like it's kind of, it's kind of difficult to close the zipper. That doesn't deter me because I will close the zipper when I can. The inside pattern of this bag is, I think Holland Ditsy maybe? I'm not 100% sure. If you know what this, what the interior pattern of this is, please let me know. If I find it, I'll link it up, or I'll just kind of put it up here. Um, I really love the shape of the mini Glenna. I actually like the shape of the large Glennas, but I've heard that when people use them, um, it, everything kind of poofs, like it kind of like all collects uh, in that one compartment and it kind of just swooshes out. I, I don't know the best terminology for it, but it kind of poofs out. So I was a little bit hesitant to try the Glenna and also the straps. Um, because this one I don't wear as a shoulder bag. I wear it strictly as a crossbody bag. But with the Glenna, you don't have that crossbody option. So you have to wear it as a shoulder bag. And per I like to be hands-free. Um, unless I'm carrying around a small Virato. But the small Virato also has a nice profile. So, um, and the straps stay on your shoulder. Um, with the Glenna, I have a feeling that because of the, the faux, um, you know, the faux material, the faux leather material that runs along the straps, I feel like those can get a little bit slippery. So um, I don't know, not really like drawn to the Glenna's, but I really, really, really love the shape and size of the mini Glenna. It is so cute. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into what's in my bag. So I love this as a essentials carry. Um, you will probably notice that most of my stuff in here is relatively the same. I have changed some of my accessories, maybe just one, not some. <laughs> and then I've added a couple things. But so right at the top here, I've got my gum. Or, I'm sorry, I've got my mints. I have my hand lotion and this slip pocket. You do get two slip pockets inside and then you do get one zipper pocket on this side. And so I've got my hand lotion in one of the slip pockets. And I also have a lipstick, my MAC Velvet Teddy. I am wearing a ColourPop lipstick today, and I think, I can't remember the color, but it's a ColourPop lipstick today. Um, I also have a hair tie and um, my French Paisley Zip ID with my AirPods in there. And then I have my French Paisley coin purse with my masks in there. And I carry these as extra masks. I actually have a couple of disposable masks in my car. Um, and so I have them in my car and so I've been using those um, disposable masks. And so I carry these as extra masks if I ever need it or if somebody ended up needing them. So they're, they're clean and washed and they're in here. Then I have my gum, and lastly in this, in this compartment, I have my Riley Compact Wallet in Holland Garden. This came as a set, so the seller actually gave this to me as a set. Um, and I surprisingly really, really like this. Let me just move my ID, but I can show you. But I surprisingly really really love this wallet I find it compact and I've got my change in here I've got my change back there it's very soft 
it's just a really nice feeling. Um, and then you open it and I've got my cards in one section and then additional cards in this section. I've got my gift card in here and then I have my ID in here and my COVID card. And then I also have some cash in this little zipper pocket up there. So I really like the Riley wallet and I particularly like it for a smaller bag like this. Now you can see here, sometimes this looks like you can get quite a bit in here, but don't let that fool you because actually you're really only, so it, the top is wider than the bottom. The top opens up pretty wide, but when you get to the bottom, your base is just about that much from, yeah, from this little, this little oval is about how much space you're really getting when you set your stuff down in there. The top opening is, is wider, so you run the risk of stacking things on top of each other. That's why I keep only my essentials and try to get everything in to the, to the bottom section as I can. Um, in this slip pocket, I've got my phone. And then in this slip pocket, I have my keys. I like to keep my phone and keys on either side because I find it really easy to grab um, like what I need. So that is what's in my bag. I'm going to pack it up, put everything back in here. So that is that again. In that back zipper pocket, this zipper pocket, I just have hand sanitizing wipes and I've got some feminine products. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you probably won't be able to see, but I'll try. Um, really, really just very satisfied with this, with this bag. Very happy with it. I had never tried the mini Glennas before. I mean, I really had not tried them. Um, I didn't really know about them. Uh, I had kind of seen a picture here and there. Someone would share a mini Glenna and I really, it's one of those styles that I completely overlooked in the beginning. And then it wasn't until... I realized I needed, I had more of a need for smaller, smaller crossbody type bags that I started doing a little bit of research into them. And then particularly when I got the small Jenny and realized how much I loved it, it kind of jogged my memory, like the shapes, uh, the shape of it, the, the style and structure of it reminded me of the mini Glenna. So I was like, if I like this bag, if I like the small Jenny this much, I'll probably end up liking the mini Glenna. So I went on a hunt for it. And then one day, particularly with this one, where I just opened the app, like I opened the Mercari app and there it was. It was like my the first thing that I saw. It wasn't even like I had to do some searching or anything like that. I just saw it. I, had, I saw that a couple of people had this item in their carts and I swooped in like a hawk and I was like, I am not letting this one go. And really just so beautiful and it's so like it it was in very good condition so what I did was when it came in the mail I checked for any flaws didn't see anything except a little bit of pet hair um otherwise it was clean there were no smells to it um there were no stains uh no scuffing or anything on the bottom and so what I did was I just threw it in the wash because the, the seller said that she did have um She'd used it very briefly, but she did use it. Um, and so I, I, st I stuck this in the wash and um, it came out just fine. And so it's it's almost 100% dry. Um, but I am so pleased with the quality of this, the condition of it. Because especially when you're buying third party um, or second hand, you just never know what... Sometimes pictures can be deceiving, so you don't know if what you're getting is going to be in like really good condition. Um, so I was really worried. I was like, I really hope this one didn't have, I didn't have the same experience with this one as I did with my Holland Garden one. 
and it's got this light blue trim across the top. It's got these blue flowers and minty greens and this kind of like minty background. And I see a lot of turquoise and teals and cornflower blues. Um, just a really, really pretty and well done pattern. I have a large tote in this as well. I almost gave that up. And then I realized that this is a pattern I'm drawn to. Very similarly to French Paisley, um, this is a pattern that I enjoy looking at. Um, it, it sparks joy for me. So I am so happy with this. So that's my stories on the Mini Glenna. Um, very pleased with, here I'll show you them side by side. Very pleased with both of them. See, this one's handles actually will stick straight up, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, it, it's it's not as flimsy. This one seems just slightly flimsier than, than these. This one doesn't feel flimsy at all. But this one, the issue that I had was the straps felt a little bit flimsy, but then I washed it and then they started to feel just fine. Yeah, but they don't stick up as, they don't stick up as, yeah, they don't stick up straight. Then I'll go ahead and show you my small bag collection. And this is everything. And I have the Mini Carson in Navy. I really like this bag. This one is more of a, I consider like a, it can either be casual or you can, you can dress this up a little bit. And this is probably, besides the multi-strap shoulder bag, the, this Mini Carson in Navy is probably or was probably the most um, dressy veer item that I had. Um, now that I've, I'm getting some leather in, that will take care of like when I need to dress up. Um, I wanted to have some solid pieces for that. But this is very cute for, for you know, evenings and even daytime. If you wanna be casual, this can be casual. Um, or you can dress it up. You get this flap here, this pocket in here. You get the interior. And you get a couple of slip pockets and a zipper pocket. And then you get a back pocket as well. Then I have my mini Carson. Um, and this one's been, I have receipts and stuff in this, but then I have my mini Carson in Foxwood. So I only have two mini Carsons and that's about as much as I'm probably going to own. I have them in two patterns that I like, um, colors that I like. I got a little fox head right down there and then I got a full fox on the back. So this is one of those things that I, would, I wouldn't part with simply because I just love that pattern placement. And then yeah, that is my mini Carson in Foxwood. Then I have my small Jenny that you've seen. And she is going in storage for now while I'm using my, um, my other bags. I have my little hipster in Shore Thing, which has, I think I've talked about this before, but it has a built-in wallet, which is really cool. Um, and then you get this compartment with uh, no slip pockets, but you get this back zipper pocket and then you get a magnetic pocket back here. Really cool. I will definitely be pulling this out when I when it gets to like spring summertime. Really like that. Oh, and I love the seahorse on the front. I forgot to mention that. I just love, love that seahorse on the front. This is such a beautiful pattern. I just love seahorse, of course. Seahorse, of course? Sure thing. <laughs> I was like, I know. I had just seen uh, Kelly Florian's video on seahorse, of course. It was stuck in my mind. Um, but, um, and then <laughs> obviously that is a seahorse. So, you know, one would think. But um, this is sure thing. And love this pattern. I have a large tote in this as well, which I'm never parting with. Um, despite my ginormous large Vera tote collection, I am actually downsizing. Um, 
And so, so I am in the process of curating my collection. So basically I have some leather coming and I'm really excited about the leather. I've been loving the leather so far. And so I've got a few pieces coming in the leather, which I'm keeping on one side of my closet. Then on the other side, I'm nitpicking between, but you know, my smaller bags collection, including my small Vera collection is not so bad, but it's my large tote collection. That's just getting out of hand. Um, and I haven't ordered any new large totes. Um, the last one I ordered was the Ski Slope Snoopy. That was the last one. So I haven't ordered anything since then. Um, but I am in the process of curating my collection and basically getting to the point where I'm only keeping the things that I love. Um, and that might include getting rid of some leather. It just depends. I have to try out the leather bags that I did buy and see how I like them. But yeah. Then I have my mini backpack in Tranquil Gray. I just love the mini backpack. This was the first mini backpack I ever bought. What I love about this bag is how much space you actually get. This thing can fit quite a bit. So you can see here how much depth you actually get. So you can get quite a bit in this guy. And I found the Performance 12 small backpack to be just a little bit too big for me. And I love the, sh the, the straps on this. They're the thinner straps. They're the thinner straps. Which is really nice. So this looks very sleek on the, on the back, on your back. And you get this other compartment in here. And no, no, no uh, interior organization, but this is just one pocket. Then I have Berry Red. Oh, and this color. I was hunting this color, y'all, and managed to find this on Zulily for like $30 or $35. Um, so excited about this. Um, I just never got a chance to open it. Or to use it um, uh, but hopefully soon I get a chance to use this um, love this and I love the performance tool material these are so freaking soft so incredibly soft and then so I've got that then I have my Kipling Angie my Kipling Angie which I also love. Um, and I think this is in Floral Rush. I believe so. Floral Rush, yes. You get these two pockets on the front that are zippered. I also really love the material of this. You get this pocket here that is also zippered. And then you get this beautiful interior. It's like a taupey material. It's like a taupey color. Um, two slip pockets and one pen slot, and then you get a back zipper as well. And then you get this back magnetic pocket as well. So my Kipling Angie, which I used to death when I first got her, um, I love this pattern, just so pretty floral rush and, you know, love that crossbody strap. It didn't come with a monkey though, which is fine because I have um, I have my Kipling Keef. Can't remember this particular pattern, but I do. I have this is one that is a love hate for me. The love is I love the pattern. I love the triple compartments with their own space. So you can see here that this compartment, this compartment here, gets its own little base, and the middle compartment gets its own base, and the last compartment gets its own base. So you can stuff this up. I don't really typically put anything in the middle, um, because then then it'll it'll do one of these numbers. 
um, I will just keep I'll just stick my phone in there and then I'll pack the sides of it the love is the material the zippers amazing the pattern amazing the interior organization amazing you get like one slip pocket in this section and then you get um, one zipper pocket in this section my hate the part that I hate about this is the strap that is connected to the middle of the bag rather than somewhere at the top. My bag will be flopping around, literally flopping around. I don't even know if you can see this, but it, it does this thing. And that drives me up the wall. So I don't typically carry this that much just because the straps bug me to death. Love the monkey. I think that is the cutest little thing. But I just can't get past the straps for this. So this is one of those pat like bags that I'll admire. I'll maybe carry it out here and there. But just don't care for the straps that much. So yes, so that is the Kipling Keef. Then my one true love that I had talked about <laughs> in a previous video, my multi compartment crossbody, my mini multi compartment crossbody in French Paisley. I am currently, so I'm currently in, I was in this. Then I switched over to the Mini Glenna's and I do have a video on the Mini Multi Compartment Crossbody. So be sure to check that out if you are curious about this style. I was in this, then I switched over to the Mini Glenna's. Once I'm done with the Mini Glenna's, I'm switching right back to this. So uh, as my daily grab and go bag. I love, love this petite style of the Multi Compartment Crossbody, of the larger one. I just love little bags. I love little bags. Um, and I think the only bag that's not mentioned in here is my mini Marlowe. That's in leather. Um, but you've, uh, I have shown that in a haul video just recently. Um, love this large inner compartment here. And then I can actually get quite a bit of stuff in my um, exterior compartments. So that is all of my little mini bags those are all of my smaller grab-and-go bags um, so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um, sorry this video was a little bit long um, I always try, I try I always set an intention to you know maybe make the video about 10 minutes but then I just I have a tendency to talk and ramble and then I just want to give you guys all the details that I can. So um, thank you for bearing with me <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Bye.